thanks to the 4th century Greek philosophers, Plato and Aristotle in particular, geocentrism had been for several centuries in the West the prevailing understanding of the universe. They were the ones who enshrined that into cosmology. Now, cosmology is a word meaning the birth and order, the nature of the universe. So if geocentrism says that the center of the universe is the Earth, what, what is the alternative and who gave it to us? Well, the alternative is heliocentrism, which postulates that the sun is actually the center of the universe. And the person who gave it to us was someone named Copernicus, Nicholas Copernicus. He was born in 1473 in what is now Poland. He studied liberal arts in college, but eventually got a doctorate in canon law. Now, canon law means pertaining to the matters of the church and, and theology. So he, something that's interesting about him, among other things, is he, his day job was collecting rent from people who, who had lived on land that the church owned, administrative affairs, things of that nature is what he spent his day doing. But astronomy which is something he had studied, was his passionate side project. It was his hobby. And in fact, it was well enough known in social circles that he knew a lot about the, the stars in the sky. And in fact, at one point, the church leaders, when they were attempting to reform the Julian calendar, actually consulted him because they knew he was something of an expert. So what does Copernicus find? What does he say? He reasoned that if the sun is at rest and the earth is in motion, which is contrary to what people thought at the time, the other planets fall into an orderly relationship in which the farther you get from the sun, the longer it takes to go around it. And this is true. It, the reason why we call a year a year, the time from the beginning of January to the end of December, is of course how long it takes for our planet to go around the sun. Now, if you're closer to the sun, as Mercury is, it takes fewer than 90 days. If you're much farther, as Jupiter is, it takes nearly 12 years. So he didn't get those exact measurements right, but he was basically on point with that observation. He also argued correctly that the Earth turns daily on its axis. Gradual shifts of this axis are what give us the changing seasons, which is also true. The reason why we have spring, summer, winter, fall is because the Earth is at a different angle. It, it kind of shifts in these different positions, and it only does that by a fluke. Uh, if, if the Earth hadn't been struck by something the better part of five billion years ago to cause it to do that, probably none of us would even be here. So he gives us all these important insights into astronomy and the way the world works. He gives us the heliocentric model which the Catholic Church would see as heresy. They did. But the reason why he escapes scrutiny for this and controversy and possibly persecution or death is he was lucky enough that basically all of this was pub published posthumously, meaning after his death or at the very end of his life. So people are gonna pick up on his work later, run with it, and they're going to get in trouble for what he laid down initially.